I'm Bartman. I am the knight. I am pranks. Let's play a game, shall we? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Simpsons game for the PSP. I see some of you liked it, so I'm gonna do a continuation of it. This this part's gonna be fun. I can just tell already. Not gonna have to keep doing this over and over again at all. Out of my way, rooster boy. Oh, nice. I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna let him talk. I just want to keep hearing it. It's, it's great. Every time he starts he starts talking, I'm just gonna stop. Although you guys probably would have expected me to. It's best that I do anyway. I am Bartman. Halt! I am Bartman. <laughs> I'm the clown. Be quiet, Bart. Oh, crap. Crap. Ah, uh, okay. Hey, Homer, uh, could you press the button? All you gotta do is press the button. It's easy, right? Homer, press the button. Did you press it? Okay, good. Thank you. Homer! Come on, Homer! That's great that it's a winged messenger. Homer, press the button, damn it. There we go, okay. Just barely made it. There we go. Awesome. Uh, great. Did I ever make it this far last time? I think I did. Right. Gotta be careful. That's great. Oh, okay. I get it. I had to climb up here. Really? Oh, okay. Well, good thing I can hop up aboard it now. I guess that created a shortcut. That's convenient, isn't it? Okay. That wasn't very funny. That was just very factual. I was hoping for a punchline there. Like, unfortunately for you, you are still big. Yeah, something. Some kind of snarky comment. I was hoping for it. A belt of asteroids separates the four inner planets from the five outer planets. My belt separates my gut from my junk. Your gut from your junk? That's great. Wish Bart would quit trying to climb down the ladder. Oh, it's kind of stupid. Ah, come, come on. How come it's doing a heck of a job trying to get the camera going? Oh, look at that. Ah, right. I need, I need Homer for this one. Homer. Ah, an ex-wife joke. That's definitely not old. I mean, heck, Postal 2 is basically one big ex-wife joke. The space ants are in the space shuttle. None of them escaped. You contained them. You saved the Earth, Homer. Shut up. Shut up, Homer. Oh, look at that. I'm right, I'm right on top of him. Ah, crap. He's not shooting where I need him to. Ah, screw it. I'm just gonna jump over there. Ah, there we go. Now for the final showdown. Ha! <laughs> nice Hal reference. Sorry, Jimbo, but I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Boring, huh? This isn't boring. This is exciting. There we go. Give me out with your unusual gliding and slingshot abilities. We're just henchmen, man. Skinner hired us. Principal Skinner? Yes, it is I. I mean, me. No, it's, it is I. Yes. 
The city cut our science budget so much I needed to steal from the museum just to have visual aids. I've never heard of such an evil plan. You're like if the Iron Sheik had a baby with Rowdy Rowdy Piper times a billion. This Azaraptor's coccyx would have inspired a generation of students to fall in love with science. Oh well, looks like it's jail for me. Sorry, sorry. Would have been here sooner, but I can't get the hang of this dang map quest. Turns out there's a North and a South Elton Avenue. <laughs> really messed me up. You've learned a valuable lesson, Skinner. Confessing to crime doesn't pay. Book em, Wiggum. I know I'm supposed to book em. Gosh, you don't have to be such a jerk about it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like having unbelievable superpowers. You and me both, pal. Also, I find it weird how the, how the DS version didn't use these cutscenes. It opted for some kind of weird 3D model reenactment of them. I mean, I know the DS has a small resolution and you wouldn't have been able to get it very clear, but it's not like the 3D models were coming in any more clearly. You could have just did it the same. I mean, th there is a codec that I used when I was doing homebrewing on the DS that actually looked quite good for, th for a DS, considering how small its screen resolution was. I mean, I was basically just watching shows on it, but, you know, still. Ooh, look at that. I'm going Catholic and getting me some communion wafers and food. I'm proud of you, Bart. I'm real proud of you. Anyway. Where do you go next? Hmm. I think, I think next is the eating competition, or... But just because I don't care doesn't mean I don't understand. Yeah, that's great. Thanks for that, Homer. Right, okay, I guess it's just the same spot every time. Every time you want a new episode, you just go out the door. You don't pick. You don't pick and choose. Get out there, remember, no chewing. Chewing's for chumps. Nothing but swallow. Nothing but swallow. I hope I win. Last year, I was the first guy to barf. Barf? Please, in this business, we refer to that as a Roman incident. It does sound a lot classier. What are you worried about? You have video game powers on your side. It's like cheating, but cheating. Woohoo! Cheating! Duffman welcomes you to the Dove Ultimate Eating Challenge! I dedicate this gorgeon to my dearly departed mother. She choked her in a haggis eating contest. I recuperare mi dignidad! With great hunger comes great responsibility. Gentlemen, start your digestive tracks! On your mark, get set, go! Ciao. You found game video game cliche six. If your game's boring, just add a stopwatch to see your cliche collection. That's fantastic. Mmm, food. You need calories to turn into the ball. Why would he be? I doubt you're even aware that that was a thing. Just saying. Oh, right. Oh, very nice. Into Australia, plus two minutes. How come Bart has to join him? Why can't he just join him on his own? Way to go, now I'm being held back. Great, that's just fantastic. Oh well, I got four, over four minutes, so... Uh, it's not like I'm in a rush or anything. Oh wait, yeah, it totally means I'm in a rush. How come I can't get Bart over there? I better not lose this just because of this. I mean, this is supposed to be about Homer, not about Bart. Be quiet. Just in case. Okay. Funny how, after I did that, I, it, it didn't matter. Can I... Can I get the duff? Okay, I can't. That sucks. Okay. Where do I go now? Probably that way. That would probably make more sense, wouldn't it? Ha! Ha! Take that! Out of my way! Mmm... Food! Foob. How do I get through this? Probably like this. Okay. 
A moment of silence. The moment is over. Wow, I'm already entering all the good stuff. Shut up. Shut up. Shut your face, Willie. Hmm. Wonder if I need Bart for this. Ah, uh, come on, Bart. Finally. I mean, nah. Just come on. I guess it's okay as long as you make fun of everyone, right? You know, like punch out. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. Come on, Bart. Do it. Okay, there we go. I had to apparently pick something. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that just nice and plot convenient? Let's go to the top of the Eiffel Tower. I'm looking down on all of you right now. Huh. Convenient that the camera went there, isn't it? What? Uh, Bart, I think you got your geography mixed up. So, please don't. Take this. Time to eat that sheep. Mmm, haggis. Sheep stomachs. I will eat your stomach and gain your power of food adaptation. Your food collection. With every sheep stomach I take, my ability to take in food rises. Nah, not really. Well, at least that's more realistic like this. They're fighting everyone. Well, that's, that's convenient in case you fall over here. They've even got the, the line, the vine for that. Wait, nope. Sorry, wrong button. Out of my way. Dang it. Out of my way, rooster boy. I beat you in the freaking museum, and I can do it again. Okay, here we go. There we go. Well, that was weird. Okay, Homer, hurry, hurry up. We've only got eight minutes. I mean, clearly that is such a small amount of time to do this. There we go. Play! Play those! Play that bagpipe, fat man! Do I need to keep doing it? Oh, okay, I get it. I get it now. Now it's Bart's turn. I gotta use the gust produced by it to get propulsion and get over that wall. Shut up, Duff Man. I mean, you're funny, but still shut up. You press that... Hold the... Pull that lever already. Dang it. I don't have much time left. Ooh, Italy. Mmm, pizza. Give me some of that. Okay, spaghetti, that works too. Yay, spaghetti. Yay. What the hell? Where do I go? Mmm, donut. Donut for my moment. What the hell? What the heck is this? Oh look, there are vines for Bart. But I'm pretty sure that's just in case you fell over the wall. Which I don't intend to do. We are witnessing a clinic in overeating. Oh crap. There's a word for that, but I'm pretty sure if I say it, YouTube is not going to like me very much. It begins with a B. Okay, that obviously didn't work. So, perhaps I need Bart for something. I have no idea. And just in case, why not? Is this the Simpsons game? 
Oh, okay, here it is. I figured it out. Ooh, is that pizza down there? There we go. The unthinkable has happened here. A superfood has fallen. Be quiet. Oh, super meatball. I hardly knew you. I will give you refuge in my stomach. Gotta love those bagpipes. Play the music, Johnny. All right, this would be where Bart comes in, isn't it? Shut up, boy. What the heck? What gifts? The gift of being buff? Oh yeah! Duck man! Oh yeah! How come I can't get up there? Probably because I'm doing this at the wrong angle, aren't I? Wait. Okay, that's not working, is it? Like many modern conveniences, eating was invented by the Romans. Shut up. How come I can't get up there? Oh, it's because I went up too far. It prevented me from jumping. I hit the ceiling. So don't be too greedy. Well, unless you're Homer, in, the, in which case, go nuts. But Bart should know better. Bart may be a scamp, but he's not greedy. At least not in terms of food. These contestants have ice water running through their stomachs. Ooh. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And then. And now, for the best one of all. Ah, it's the Golden Gate Bridge. That's pretty cool. Come on. I'll show you a go-go gadget. I'm freaking Bartman! I'm Bartman! I am the knight! I am pranks! I am the prank to the windowsill. Oh yeah! Tough man just remembered he left his sunglasses in the garage. Be quiet, tough man. I'm Bartman. Pull that. Pull the lever, Bart. Wrong lever! USA! USA! Come on, Homer. It is your American duty. Wait, no, that's not what I meant. Okay, you get out there and you show them! Really? I will destroy that burger. I don't think I've ever seen such a beautiful sight. The USA! Oh, okay. How do I get past that? Oh, okay. There we go. That's how you do it. Out of my way, boy. Out of my way, boy. Who take that? Symbol of national pride and freedom. Yeah. Ah, crap. I missed him. Oh well, who cares? There we go. You're right, resistance is futile. Because I'm winning this contest. There we go. Give me some of that burger. You can have all the small fries, but I'm getting the big one. Big Girther. Ouch. Jeez, that was my choking hand. Still, you did great. Homer, Duffman is proud to declare you our ultimate eating champion! Oh yeah! Here to present you with the Red Barkley Championship Belt is last year's champion! Who will need to get that adjusted? Akira, how did you win? You're so tiny! Technique. And now, the losers have to clean up! Oh yeah! You maniacs! You blew it up! Ah, oh, damn you! God damn you all to hell! Hey, less references, more mopping. Ooh, totally not cliché! 
Great job, Simpson. Collectibles found. I really don't care. Auto save in progress. Auto save in progress. Oh yeah. Ooh, that is one heck of an auto save. Look for the light beam. Yeah, we get it. Hello, Homer. Okay. Oh, okay. Those are the only two that I have currently. I have to unlock uh, Lisa and Marge. I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? And I guess it's funny because Maggie just comes with Marge, so she's not technically her own character. She's just part of a character. Why is Homer following me? Also, it's kind of cool to see, even though that this has probably been done to death, the 3D representation of the Homer of the Simpsons house that you can fully look around in. Although, for some reason, this area right here is barely modeled at all. It's just a hallway. Uh, I guess that's the way it was meant to be. I love everything about Springfield. Mark's lawyer is here. Huh. I see. Well, good for that. Look at that. There's the dining... No, no, that's not the dining room, that's... That's the... Roughage room, I, I think. And of course, the living room. The kitchen. Oh, it, right, it's a kitchen and dining room. Oh, wait, no, the dining room is right here. Which makes this a second dining room? I guess? I think I read somewhere that cows like being killed. I guess the table in the kitchen is for the family, and if they have guests over, then they have the extra di dining room for that. That's clever. I'm pretty sure this is Bart's room. Or, uh, yeah, it is, because it's got Krusty on it. Lisa is not as much into Krusty. And obviously this is Lisa's room, because music stuff. Oh look, it's Bleeding Gums Murphy. Oh look, it's that magical elf creature thing. Look at that. Ah, okay. That would be le And this is where I put a trophy. If I had one! What turned into a hardcore sex? Well, this is interesting. That's great. That's great, Lisa. I think the next one's actually a Lisa episode, so good timing there, Lisa. Yep. Up. Bart, Dad said you have superpowers. That's amazing. How'd you get them? Manual. That manual has staggering metaphysical implications. We have to take it to the proper authorities. We could do that, but wouldn't you like to know what your powers are first? I have powers? Wow. With these abilities, I can be a force for social justice. Oh, God. Can we skip this level? Come on. It'll be fun. You can hurt a lot of bad guys. Well, if there's gonna be hurting... So, we'll cut down all the forests in Springfield and turn each tree into a single luxury toothpick. Great idea, Mr. Burns. But one tiny question, won't that lead to uh, environmental disaster? If you want to make an omelet, you have to wreck a few planets. Well said, sir. Well said. You know what? That's not evil, that's just incredibly stupid. Because any business knows that you have to be able to, to sustain said business. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, oh, nice. Okay, that wasn't in the DS version. That kind of makes her more helpful in this version. You know, as opposed to just being a version of Bart that doesn't have slingshot abilities. I mean, granted, she still has her Buddha, Buddha powers, but still. This makes her more helpful in terms of actual combat. Sorry about that. At least he can levitate, yeah, to access the hand. This is stu this is a stupid idea from Burns' part because you it would be unsustainable. What are you gonna do once all the trees are chopped down? Then you'll go out of business. That's stupid. That would be like having a farm and then just killing all the animals therein. That's a stupid. That's unsustainable. Just saying. Well, at least you can actually destroy them. If I remember correctly, in the DS version, you can't. They just spawn forever. Look at that. Hold X. Press X to drop them. Right. Be quiet, Mr. Burns. Work is a privilege, not a right. Fair enough. Oh, right. I have to, uh... This certainly is an eventful day. Oh, okay, I get it. You can only move certain ones. 
Oh, okay, that's fair. And then I put this one here. And we'll be done. We'll have a Merry Christmas. A Merry Apriling. Be quiet, Mr. Burns. Can't you see I'm trying to defy you? Because... The, I, I'm bored and I need something to do. <laughs> Find them in each episode to unlock a trophy. That's fantastic. <coughs> Come, there we go. That's fantastic. You know, it's a little too late for that. I mean, if Smithers is involved, you know it's going to be Mr. Burns behind it. Because he works for Mr. Burns. It was obvious. I should play a hit and run after this. You know, eventually. That was a good one, too. Even though it was basically... It, it could arguably be described as uh, kind of rip off of Grand Theft Auto, except teen-friendly. I know it's not kid-friendly because it's still T-rated, but... It's lesser rated than Grand Theft Auto. Also helps that it's just sillier. You can't really kill anyone, you can just kick them around. You can kick them around, but you can't kill them in hit and run, so I guess that's one reason why it was more leniently rated. Oh, okay, right, there's the, the spawner. Wait, why are you trying to hide it? Mr. Burns is flat out talking. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that alone give it away. I mean, it's not like there are many people that don't know what Mr. Burns sounds like. Wouldn't that be silly? Be quiet, Mr. Burns. Oh, okay, I see. That's to give Bart a hand, isn't it? Nice barrier there. Kind of reminds me of Black and White. I wonder if that, this was intended to be a parody of Black and White. Oh, crap. I think I get it now. <clears throat> okay. Well, crap, that that didn't work. Uh, okay. You're a jerk, Mr. Burns. Be quiet, Mr. Burns. I mean, mysterious leader. Who definitely isn't Mr. Burns. There we go. Isn't this exciting? This factory really is a marvel. <laughs> I just kick it. When a problem comes along, you must kick it. Kick it good. Jump on the spring, Lisa. You know what? Forget this. I'm going to play as Bart primarily because I kind of like Bart better. Ah. This is one of those things that requires two, doesn't it? Come on, Bart. What are you doing? There you go. No, it's not. You can't tell your machines are being busted? You must be blind. Seriously. Mr. Burns is blind. Blind as a bat. Giant saw blades by any other name would be would still be as cliched. Ooh, real original. Oh crap. Yeah, great. Invisible walls. I'm so happy for those. Hooray! Invisible walls to let you know when you're on the wrong path. Invisible walls, invisible walls. You thought you had freedom, but no, you don't. Invisible walls, invisible walls. Just when you think you're free, you're not. Would you quit saying the same things over and over again? We get it. Yeah, because because definitely everyone said that. Oh, I see. That's that's ammo for Bart. Oh crap! I'm gonna get sawed in half if I'm not careful. Shut up. Ah, crap. Oh, I see. I gotta hit that. Let's hit it. 
Hit it good. God, how do I how do I target? No, not that. I know there was some way to target things. But it hadn't occurred to me how. Come on, Bart. You're a little cooperative, why don't you? Oh, right. Obviously, it's the circle key that allows him to shoot. Dang it. Okay, come on. There we go. Love how ignorant they are. They have no idea that their factory is being destroyed because they are the most incompetent, cliched villains ever. Just because you point out your cliches does not mean they are not cliches. Ding! Oh, look at that. A lever of some kind. Good thing Lisa suddenly knew how to, how to run. Oh boy. No, don't worry, I'll pick up the pace destroying your crap. You know, everything will be okay. Don't you worry about it. Although, unfortunately, I have to end this here, so... That's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like cliched supervillains. Shut up, Mr. Smithers, and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon, or just check out the end screens right here.